for all those people who are like I'm diamond or below I don't care about the most efficient way to defend this I just want anything to to defend with I don't care if I have to go or safer opener or whatever I just don't want to have to worry about it okay this is the way to do it for you okay we're gonna go we're gonna talk about the pro way and the easy way to uh, to defend this bill so first things first 16 hatch 16 pool it's a it's a bit safer I'm sure a lot of people are used to um, 16 hatch 18 gas 17 pool but if you want to do it the easy way no worries uh, go 16 hatch 16 pool 18 gas 17 gas doesn't really matter too much uh, if you see the drone pole uh, you can go ahead and cancel your gas geyser because you won't need gas to hold this kind of thing if it was 12 pool in general you might want it but versus 12 pool drone pole no worries um, another note I will put is if you want to see these drones coming in the middle of the map on submarine, uh, you definitely want to gonna want to put the overlord in this area here, okay? But if you put it straight to the nat, it, your overlord's gonna go like down here in this area, and they might just slip by in this uh, top area when they come around this corner. It's uh, very easy to miss. But if you go click this right away, maybe even like shift click it so you click here and then shift down here so you don't have to worry about your overlord dying to a queen if it's not 12 pool that would probably be smart something like that to here but otherwise you're gonna see a little bit later so these are important notes to take but with this hold it's actually really simple it was even simpler than I realized well initially because I thought it was gonna be very difficult as soon as you see the drones on the way you're holding your supply, you should be 18 supply with that gas cancel, and you should just be pulling larva. So as soon as this pool finishes, give it a goal, good old six ling. And you're just gonna chill, you're gonna make a spine. You could even make a couple spines in a, instead of a queen. Honestly, I've been kind of debating whether you can make a couple spines instead of just a queen, but I think for this method, it might just be better just to do one spine. So, what I will say is one spine, you defend as well as you can to protect these eggs, and as soon as these eggs come out, you fight immediately. Immediately you fight with the six moves. And it's just as simple as that. If you fight as soon as the six moves pop, you will get all these spine crawlers, and you'll kill them. A couple drones will die, no worries. You got the queen, you got the spine crawler, you clean it up. And I have extra examples. This is, this is, yeah. You've seen some players go 16 hatch, 16 pool on ladder? This is why, because they're, uh, they don't want to deal with the, like, how difficult it is to hold uh, 12 pool, you know? They just do it. They just want to get the mental stress which is a big part of like tournaments and stuff especially if you're seeing this in tournaments people just want to have the mental stress put off them so they go a simple build right so this is what they're doing they're going 16 hash they go 16 pool and then they can go 16 gas right after it's fine they're saving up at 18 supply make the three links instantly I have it on this spawn too because the other spawn it's a little bit safer. These these links uh, these yeah these links are pretty safe. But you'll see the difference. As soon as it's about to pop, we're already pulling our drones. We're we're basically protecting our links as soon as they pop and then we fight right away. The idea is exactly the same. You wanna fight as soon as you have six links. Uh, you're just taking the fight to them a little bit. So you can see uh, you just completely uh, you know annihilate them. But you cannot wait at all. You have to go immediately. Pool placement doesn't matter. There's uh, no big deal on the pool placement. For this specific reaction, there's no uh, no need on, on where the pool is. It doesn't really matter at all. Now, now with that said, 
this is the easy way, right? We gave you the easy way. We also we also got the pro way. 16 hatch, 16 pull, easy win. Now why are all these people in these tournaments doing these crazy builds? What people are making hatcheries in their main, trying to wall off their main base? What are they doing? My right, friends, what you're looking at are pro players trying to get every ounce out of their build order. They're trying to get hatch gas pool every single game and you can't blame them. You know what I'm saying? They're just trying to get every little bit. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do the pro way. I'm not going to lie. When I would set out to do the 12 pull drone pull defense for every map, I did not know what I was dealing with. I thought it was going to be easy. Me, Chase, we did the Ever Dream, no problem. Submarine was a new beast, and uh, we had to figure out some different tactics. So, as you guys know, if you've been watching tournaments, Hatch block in the main is popular. I mean, of course, uh, of course, we like to do hash block or hatch, yeah, hatch block in the main on this channel because it was born in this channel. You know, how can we not do the hatch block in the main? But it was a little bit different. Look at this wall. We got spawning pool Evo directly below another Evo directly to the left, and then we got the hatch right here in the evo to fill it out it's a little bit easier than the everdream one because you don't have to cancel anything but uh, it, it's definitely a lot cancel the hatchery if you can cancel the, the third evo and then here's here's what i learned that made it really good evo block between this evo and this hatchery and then it allows you to get these spines up pretty safely. If they go around, they wrap around on the bottom here, you should go for their spines. And if they don't wrap around, their main goals will be either forcing a fight in your mineral line or attacking your hatchery. If they're forcing a fight, you don't want to um, fight without your six slings, right? Like we're, we're bunching in the corner, we're really playing defensively until these six slings come out. Um, you can kind of escort your drones over, you know, like kind of like the, the 16 hatch, 16 pool, we're kind of escorting these lings out with these drones. I don't recommend fighting. I think fighting is probably the worst thing to do because we have four spines versus three will win in the long run. It's just about buying time. So that's what we're doing with this. We're buying time. And like I said, main two goals and the 12 puller in this case is focusing the main hatch, going for a big spot snipe once these three finish. Um, in that case, you just, you just fight as soon as you can. And then as soon as they start fighting back, you disengage as quickly as possible. But if they, they're trying to fight in your middle line, just play as defensive as possible. Try to get as many lings out as you can. You want to fight, you know, you don't want to fight like, if I just fought like five seconds earlier, I would have fought with six lings for no reason, and then there's and two more would pop. You know, you want to fight at opportune times. Now I'm eight versus, uh, what is this, 12. You know, this would be a lot better than six versus 10. Evo cancel at the very last second. You don't want this to block you because it's going to make these finds way more difficult um, when they finish. Like I said, this is the hard version. This is the pro version to defend this. If you want to go hatch gas pull every game, you got to learn this reaction. This is not for the lower level players by far, by at all. I do not recommend this for uh, anybody who's not GM, to be honest. Maybe Masters, uh, if you're courageous, I would recommend this, you know, if you've got a lot of heart and uh, time to kill to learn this stuff, because this is uh, pretty difficult. Even now that I got the four spines, I'm moving in with the spines, I'm keeping them in range, trying to make sure that I can, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to sweet spot it, I'm trying to sweet spot the, you know, two onto one scenario, but as they move up and down, 
you're gonna have a lot of, a lot of trouble and get a keep up. You gotta keep up for sure. And like just like that, we pull the drones and we're ahead. Honestly, even if uh, in a hypothetical scenario, because I know someone's gonna say it, if they pull the drones back and they go home, even if that's the case, uh, having a spine or two is a huge lead in these types of games, and uh, you'll just be ahead. As long as you have spines, you'll uh, you'll be pretty ahead. Just like the the easy way of defending it, we're gonna have both spawns because there is a difference. Um, in the other spawn, it's actually harder to keep your lings alive because there's this kind of cubby that they're striking into. But with this wall off between the hatch and the pool, it actually makes this spawn a little bit easier. It's a little bit backwards, and you're going to see that as we go in here. So, got to cancel the Evo again. Not necessary, not 100% required, but it, sometimes you get the timing off and it just works. Why not do it? Immediately walling off the Evo. Now, this is the cubby I'm talking about. Normally, this is an exposed area, but we're tight against this Evo. We got two spines down here, two spines up here, and the idea is we evade for as long as possible until these lanes come up. Stay the plane as safe as possible. If we can, we want to avoid all engagements, but uh, like I said, if they go for the ma main hatchery, you, like it, just, it is what it is, you gotta engage. Last second, we're, we're canceling this Evo. We're coming in, back off as soon as the spines come up, and now we're getting in range. These two, just in range of that one, now he's moving up, we're moving the two at the top. This sort of uh, two at the top, two at the bottom seemed to work the best for me. I, uh, I definitely think it's a pretty strong method, but there, uh, there might, be, might be something that other people will find just as time goes on and people try different stuff. But I, I quite like this two at the top of the bottom. So now these two spines are gonna engage only this one up here. Again, don't be afraid to drone pull a little bit. You're, it's gonna be tight. Uh, like six versus three, like this is a this is a tough builder. I'm not gonna lie. This is a tight build. And uh, if you want a min max, this is how you do it. And I know there's a lot of people who are saying, you know, this is technical. I don't know if I can do it. Is this really required? How bad is 16 hatch, 16 pull really? Uh, you know, maybe I just ban an ever dream and submarine. But believe me, the worst is over. As we cruise on to. Death Aura, we will find ourselves in a much safer place. After playing the submarine customs, oh my god, did I feel like I was on a cloud after playing Death Aura. Death Aura, as you might know, very similar situation with the creep. Um, it's the reason why Topo Drumpo is so strong because it has this vantage point into the natural and then you can get spines down here and you cannot retreat anywhere. But its strength also becomes our strength as we wall off the main base. I know there will be a little bit of debate on what the best wall off is. I know there's a, a, a Sin BG-esque cancel here where you can get with just uh, one hash, one evo, and one pool. Uh, for the sake of convenience frankly in laziness uh, I did uh, I did the two evo I don't think it makes a big difference I wouldn't worry too much I think on everything it makes a lot bigger than it and uh, that's what it but here we go already do you see that he just got to my mineral line and my lings pop huge difference oh my god we got spines in behind the mineral line we got on the left we got on the right I think generally you want to keep them behind the mineral line, not so much on the left here. I think maybe this is a bit of a mistake, but uh, the idea here is if it's behind the mineral line, whether you're going from the right or the left, we're making big swooping moves from the drone puller here, and when they make these big moves coming left or right, 
especially uh, in this case left, we can go straight for these spine crawlers. So if you're, you know, you have spines here and they're taking a swoop to the right and you're like, man, I'm kind of like my chokes are blocked or something accidentally or, uh, you know, it's, it's too small of a funnel, I can't get in time. Just go for the spines, trade them out, because you'll have more spines going, and if you start targeting their spines while they're targeting your spines, you're going to win out in the end just from the uh, world of attrition. Now, same same rules as before, if you're targeting your hatch, you get on them. As soon as they back off though, uh, you want to get the heck out of there. There's uh, no reason to engage. That was uh, most of my losses practicing this, was that engaging too quickly. And as you can see, because they get there slower, the sp spines go down slower, and everything is just slower, easier, butter, to defend. No big deal. No worries on Gathora. Now, we do have Everdream. You might be surprised to see, especially with all these great players, you know, we got our lasers, we got Serils, we got, um, I don't even know who else, Silky, unfortunately, falling on this map. All these great players falling on Everdream. How could we, you know, our, you know, a simple Masters, GM, Zerg, etc. player, Defend 12 pull jump on everything, but I promise you it is so easy. Everyone saying, you know, it's this version, that version, everyone's got it wrong. I see all these people doing these uh, hash blocks and stuff, but they're doing the wrong version, and it's so much simpler than people are making it out to be. Ever dream. It's like Death Door, man. It's one of the easiest defenses you could ever do. And I'll tell you why. Uh, do the hatch cancel, of course. You'll notice the difference here, though. Wait, there's a hole in between those evos. We gotta block that up. Put a third evo behind it. Now you might be asking yourself, why would you go three evo, pull, and hatch? That's so much more money. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a version where you go two evo. And it's completely fine. But here's the thing. If they target any one of these Evos, it's going to poop out broodlings. So the number one target always is going to be the hatch. Now what do you do when you get this lineup? The hatch has a little bit less surface area. And instead of five Zerglings attacking this hatchery, you got four. And not only does that make a difference. It makes a huge difference. It makes a world of difference when they're trying to get in here. Look at this. Four units attacking. I haven't even... Oh my god. Three spine crawlers already down. Six lings waiting. It is nothing. Cancel it. My spines are finished by the time they get in there. So, uh... It's, it's easy. Every dream, no problem. Of course, you know, no one's gonna play perfect. It's not gonna be exactly like this. But the blueprint is there. Thanks to uh, Innuitive, this wall was uh, found, I mean, honestly, ages ago. And for some reason, people haven't uh, caught up. I, I thought this would be the new way of doing it, but I'm seeing a lot of people in tournaments just, they're uh, they're not updating it. And I, or maybe they saw it and they just thought it was dumb, like why would I go three evos? But the surface area difference, like one less ling, makes a huge difference. It's so easy to defend on every dream. Now, last map. Pillars of Gold. Now, why did I put Pillars of Gold? It's pretty much the basic, like, uh, you know, X random map that you can't go wall against the ramp. It's the same size as every single other map that we haven't looked at. For like a 
I forget the exact rush distance. I want to say it's like 157. The 12 pull drum pull gets into your main base. So, Pillars of Gold is basically your catch all for all the other builds. Or all the other maps for this build. And I thought it was actually perfect because there's no nooks or crannies to hide in. It's actually uh, pretty difficult in that regard. So I was uh, kind of worried going into this to see how I would defend it, but honestly, it was pretty easy. Some of you might know this already, the strat to put the drone in the natural just before they come in. Uh, keep in mind, similar ideas with the overlords. Pretty much every single map we've been playing so far, we're sending the overlord to the main base, kind of just to the inner part of the main ramp here. This is uh, consistently true pretty much every single map that uh, you'll see the dr drones and wings coming quicker by um, sending it there. See, if you sent it straight to the nat, it would not have seen it like this. It would have saw it maybe, you know, by the time these lings came in, maybe you'd see the edge of it. This way you get a nice clear view of what's going on. I definitely recommend sending your, your overlord here, maybe here, and then rally it up. It's probably what I'd recommend to be super, super safe. But as soon as you see that, drone comes down, hides in the natural, behind the natural, We're waiting for them to come up, and as soon as this pool finishes, keep in mind this is hatch gas pool. Six lanes going down instantly. Eight lanes. Queen in the natural, specifically. And then we get this spine crawling down. We're hiding from the lanes a little bit. Sometimes they'll be lingering on, just sticking around because someone A moves. They're just going to latch onto that hatchery. As soon as they leave, go ahead and put down a spine crawler. And then from there, it's like clockwork. We're not making any overlords. 28 is our cap. He's focusing down the hatchery in this scenario. We're holding him off. Uh, but as soon as the spine's finished, we're going straight to the natural base. And because the creep isn't nearly as close to the natural as some maps like Everdream, Submarine, Death Aura, this whole situation of the one spine protecting as they go down the ramp is a lot more difficult as these spines are not safe they have to go into this little nook and then they can't attack anything they're way too far it takes you know one from here to here to here and if you get your spine crawler <laughs> in this case i didn't get the spine crawler but if you get your spine crawler over uh you'll be good to go it's not really good. now do you gotta go hash pool gas 16 16 16 every single map because of 12 pool drum pull no do you have to do it on every dream of death aura most of you i don't think will have to as long as you're masters plus i don't think you're gonna have to worry about having to go hash pool gas having to defend you know all these different scenarios um, because you had to go hash pool gas on submarine though will you have to go hash pool gas because our the defense is way too hard maybe yeah uh, ultimately you have to figure it out for yourself you have to get in these games get a buddy hey pull pull drone pull me a couple times I gotta figure this out the walls aren't 100% easy not gonna lie but once you get them down it's like clockwork as far as after that spines going in and out submarine it's the hardest by far but every other map death aura ever dream I mean once the spines are down it's over so what I'll say is this if you're Diamond or below, go hash pool gas. Don't worry about it. It is what it is. If you're an overachiever, diamond, or especially masters plus, give these hash cast pools a try, especially on Death Door, especially on Everdream, Submarine, 
uh, maybe leave that to to uh, what you feel after trying it out a little bit. But th ultimately, that's why this is how to defend 12 drum pull the pro way versus the easy way.